So this is the road uh, I cut out from the plywood and I drill a three quarter inch hole in the middle for the um, magnet plate and basically it just goes in there like this and I would have to drill uh, three screws here so I can secure the arm to the rotor arm here so that's what I have to do right now there are eight magnets here north south north south and these are very tiny magnets but they're still very sticky they're neo magnets so the voltage that I need from this windmill uh, it's not much I just need a few volts because I have two double A batteries that uh, will be charged in, in parallel I, I just put this in front of a small fan see how fast it can turn I think that's about the speed. It probably won't go that much faster. It's about 4.92 volt, which is uh, should be enough to charge a 1.5 volt battery. Zero point nine two, four point nine three. So, okay. so I think it this would work. This would work. 4.9, 5 volt. Yeah, I think if the right wind hits it, it, it picks up speed. Yeah. So the construction is really simple I just have three wood blocks that I screwed on to the rotor here and then the window capping aluminum is uh, screwed on to the lock here and and that's it and then this is the alternator there are a couple of holes here that I can drill into a post of some kind and then it will run by itself with some help from the wind and this, and this is the rectifier here the AC goes in the middle and then it's rectified into DC negative DC positive and then it goes out to the to uh, your load and the reason you're seeing the voltage holding steady is because there are a couple of capacitors here that doubles as a, a voltage doubler as well as smoothing out the voltage. Alright, this uh, looks, looks nice I have to say. Not too bad. More or less the lens design. Probably less but it will have to do. Okay, thanks for watching.